Hey, everybody. So here we go. I am excited that we have got a lot of y'all that are going to be joining us today for our kids' um, little watercolor lesson from home. And y'all, we are doing this every day of this week. We are going to commit to a time. So for the past few days, we have been kind of just doing it um, when we had time, but we are committing to 3.30. 3.30 Central Time um, every day this week, and I believe we'll be going into next week too, and then we will see how it goes. If y'all like it, we'll continue it through this through this little break because usually at this time we are at the studio doing our art classes, but we have shut down for a few weeks so we can do it right here straight from home. I am going to drop in a link, let's see here, into the comments if you are interested in wanting like reminders or things like that. Uh, we just have a little sign up thing where you can enter your email if you want more videos and reminders of when um, our stuff is live. So here we go. This is what you need. First of all, watercolor paper. Okay. Now most of you probably already have that. Um, we listed that today. Let's say that you don't have that and you just have um, copy paper. That's totally fine. You can still do this drawing. Just use markers or um, colored pencils to fill it in instead of watercolors. We're going to be using watercolors, but if you don't have watercolor paper, don't use watercolors, okay? So I'll show you... Um, this is the watercolor paper we use with kids a lot. Uh, we do sell an even thicker watercolor that's really good at the studio as well, but this is the easiest access. Um, they've got these at Michael's. Uh, a lot of times they have them at Walmart too, Hobby Lobby. So you get 30 sheets in here. I'm always looking at this number um, to make sure that it's at least that 140. That just kind of determines the thickness. So we've got the watercolor paper, your pencil and eraser, the Sharpie, the gray washable marker, um, that's optional, and I'll show you how to use it, but if you don't have it, no biggie. And then I am using our really bright watercolors. This is the set that we sell at the studio, um, and I can also pop in a link for that if y'all want some of those. We've got some extras. Um, so that is what I am going to be using. Um, Cindy says, do you have a template or printout? Well, Cindy, Nope, but I guarantee you, if you will follow these instructions, you can draw this, okay? You do not need a template or a printout. I promise, promise. All right, so I am going to kind of move things around and get things set up. So we are going to start with just drawing shape, okay? So I've got my pencil. All right, so I'm going to look at this. It's kind of a circle. Um, it's kind of a, a, you know, not really an oval, but it's just, it's not a perfect circle. Notice how much of the paper it takes up, okay? If I were to look from top to bottom of this paper, it's about halfway up, maybe even a little bit higher. That's important to know because you don't want to come over here and draw a circle that this, this small. You also don't want to do one that's so big that you don't have any room for the ears, okay? So we're gonna kind of look at about our halfway point with our finger, and we're very lightly with our pencil gonna draw this sort of circly, ovally, not perfect shape, okay? And uh, y'all are gonna hear me say not perfect a lot because as artists, we are not going to get mad at ourselves if it's not perfect because that takes the fun out of it. We're gonna go with the flow. If we mess up, we're gonna figure out how to fix it. Yours is not gonna look exactly like mine. If you're doing this with a parent or a friend or something, it's not gonna look exactly like theirs. And sometimes this one doesn't even look exactly like this one, okay? <laughs> so don't worry about that at all. Okay, so we've got kind of this shape. I did it very lightly. Now we're gonna do the shape right down here of these little hands. Now, if you look at this, this does not look like hands. And this is what I tell people all the time. If you zoom in on it, it doesn't look like hands. But when you put it in perspective with everything else, you know that it's little bunny hands peeking over. So let's go down here. We're gonna kind of do almost like, think of it like a rainbow shape. It's gonna be a kind of an arch that way. And then we are going to do like, I call it U, U, U. Three of those U's, okay? So it's gonna kind of connect right in here, and then you, 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 okay? We'll do the same thing over here, just kind of have that little rainbow shape, and then you, 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 okay? 
Again, they look kind of weird when you just look at them by themselves. <laughs> but when you look at them in context of everything else, it'll be a-okay. Yay! I see a lot of y'all commenting that y'all are doing it with the kids. I'm excited. And I see some of y'all that on here that I know don't even have kids, and y'all are going to be doing it too um, because nobody's too, like, you're not too old <laughs> to have fun with this. So, all right. So, we've got that on. Now, let's come up and let's draw those ears okay now this is going to take up the rest of our paper we don't want it to be too small so for this first ear it's good it's behind the bow right now but it's going to go up and it's going to curve and then it's going to kind of come back to the same place that we start pretty close anyway so i'm going to start right here i'm going to very lightly come up and then whoop, it's going to come back really close to where i started okay then this one you could have that one going up too but I'm going to instead kind of start here. I'm going to curve it over and come back in. And now here it's going to come back close to this line. Okay, kind of looks like a little paisley shape. Now we're going to draw the bow. Now again, if you're at this point, don't get mad and start judging yourself. Okay, that's what a lot of people do. They're like, oh, this doesn't look good. You gotta wait till everything comes together. You can tweak as you go. You can tweak before we add the Sharpie. But right now, we're taking it one step at a time and we're not gonna get mad about anything. If you feel like I am going too fast, let me tell you a tip on that. Just turn the video off and come back. <laughs> After it's not live, it will still be on the Facebook page and you can pause it as you go or just sit back and watch right now. Don't try to do it. Just watch and then you can go back and do it with me and pause it as needed. Okay, so those are a couple of tips if you feel like I'm going a little bit faster. Um, <clears throat> all right, so now I'm going to draw the the little cute bow. Now you could leave the bow off if you don't want this to be a girl. You could leave it off and you could um, also do different eyes. Those two things would make this look less girly. Okay, so take the bow away, do different eyes. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do my circle and I want this to be, you can have, you can have this as big as you want. And this is gonna just kind of go up and down and up, up and down and up. And we'll erase all of this stuff later, so no worries about that. We're drawing right on top of it. Don't feel like you have to squeeze it in between those ears. You don't. You're going to draw right on top of that. And now we're going to do the shape on the inside of the ear. We're just going to kind of follow around this. Let's see. Deborah said, but we have grandchildren to share with. Artsy grandmas. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> Y'all do, and I'm glad. I'm glad. All right, right there. So we have an artsy grandma all of our own, little Miss GG. She called and has already got all kind of little ideas to do over the break. <laughs> ideas and projects and you should do this and bring this and da, 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 da. And if you have any old canvases, bring those to us too. <laughs> I'm like, okay. All right, so right here, I'm not going in the middle of my face. I'm gonna come down just a bit. Okay, so that's important. Not in the middle, coming down a little bit. And we're gonna do our upside down triangle. I, mean, I guess it's just a triangle, but um, <clears throat> all right. So there we go. Notice that point is going down. So if any time you are drawing things, if you will think of it as shape, it makes it so much easier. Because sometimes you think, I don't know how to draw a nose, um, but you know how to draw a triangle. So if you draw a triangle, you got it. All right. Now we're going to start right here at the nose and kind of do the U shape. And then we're doing the other, go on the other way. It's going to touch right here, go on the other way. Now the eyes, there's so many different ways to do the eyes. You can do it however you want. This is just the easiest to me. So curve, curve, and you could leave it like that. Or if you want to put those little um, eyelashes on, you can just pull those up over there. Okay. So either way is a-okay. So now at this point, you can kind of look and see, is there anything that you want to change? An ear that you want to make bigger? Um, an eye that you want to change? A face that you want to make fatter? Anything like that. And go ahead and make that change. And we are going to grab our eraser and erase just a few places. All the places um, it, behind this bow, like those ears would be behind it. And we don't want to see that. So we're going to erase that. Okay, and then we're also going to come down here and erase inside of those hands. 
Okay, so right down here where that face goes through there. Now here's the deal. We're about to trace with Sharpie. Dun, 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 dun. How many of you are allowed to use Sharpie? <laughs> if, you, if you're a kid doing this, you might not always be allowed to use Sharpie, but it is very important that you use Sharpie here. You do not want to be using a washable um, Crayola marker to outline this because if you do, um, it's going to bleed everywhere once we start adding in the, uh, the color. Okay, so that's just a little important side note there. Okay, so here comes the Sharpie. <clears throat> and I am tracing everything. And one thing that I like to do is just to like quickly trace. Instead of feeling like I have to exactly be right on the line, I'll go like quickly like this. Like several traces. I guess is the easiest way to say it. Like one, two, three. To me, that just has a little bit, it gives you more freedom anytime you're doing that. That way, if it's not perfect, it's like, who cares? I didn't mean for it to be perfect. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to come right up here, kind of trace this, and then you can do it just a few times. And if you are working with a, a lot younger kids, I don't know what, there's probably like, y'all let me know the ages. If you are doing this with kids right now, or if you plan on doing this with kids, I'd love to know kind of about the age range. Because some of them, depending on the age, you might want to do the Sharpie point part for them. You might let them draw and then you trace with the Sharpie. Okay, just, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> Mary said, you know we're going to do this. I know, I like you to do it. I like you too. All right, one, two, and three. So I'm doing it multiple times, multiple times. Okay, so we've got some eight-year-olds, five-year-olds. I think five is totally fine to do this. I think maybe younger than five, you might want to do the Sharpie for them. Right. And also, mamas, embrace your kiddos' sweet little imperfections. <laughs> Sometimes at the studio, we see moms about dying. Oh, look, I see more ages coming through. 11, 8, 5, 6, 7, 10, 5, yay. Okay, so I see like from 5 all the way up to 13 is what I'm seeing right now. So that's really great because this... I think five to 10 to 12, I think I think you can, this works for all of those ages and they're just gonna all have their own little flair with it. You know, they can add a little extra something, something. Some of those 11 and 12 year olds have gotten into drawing those fun little eyes with the two little bubbles and they're gonna wanna add that. And you know, so there's all gonna be everything. Oh, we got 55, look at there, Lisa. <laughs> okay, okay, all ages, y'all see, Pizzazz Art is awesome for all ages. Um, I want all ages posting this too, y'all. I want to see everybody's stuff, okay? I mean, hello. We got to we gotta connect to each other. We're all stuck inside for <laughs> who knows how long. So post your stuff and let us, let us see and celebrate your art. All right. <clears throat> so we have got it on there. Do you see how even this one looks a little bit different than that one? I, I didn't go as like circly. Um, and I kind of wish I would have, but you know what? I'm going to keep on rolling with it. Um, I should have I kind of should have made it just a little bit more squatty. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to now do my little polka dots. The great thing also about this is this is just watercolor paper. Let's say I do get finished with this and I'm just like, man, I just really don't like the shape of that head. You know what I can do? I can get another piece of paper and do it again. <laughs> it ain't no big thing, okay? This is, we are wanting to enjoy the process of this, not overanalyze ourselves, not beat ourselves up, just have fun with it. All right, so we've got the drawing on there. Now I'm going to show you something really fun with marker, washable marker. Also, before I do that, if you have any pencil lines that are showing that are bothering you, you can totally go ahead and erase those. Now would be the time to do that, not after. A lot of times they don't bother me, um, but uh, I do know when I was in art school, that was a major no-no. Like, I mean, in art uh, in art class in high school, <laughs> that was a major no-no. Okay, so if you wanna erase those pencil lines, you can. Okay. So, washable markers. You can use washable markers like watercolor. It is so much fun. All you do is you put it on there and then you add the water and it dilutes it. If you think about that, you know, washable markers are made to wash out 
in the wash, okay? So they are made for when water touches them to kind of get um, to get loose. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. Why don't we start down here? Let me get all those eraser things off. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of go. I'm using the fat tip. I'm using a super tip, but any washable marker works. All right, so I've gone around there. Now I'm gonna use my water and I'm kind of loosening up the color. And there's that gray. Okay, gonna put it on just the edge. It doesn't have to go everywhere because we kind of want it to have that natural fade on the inside. This is just plain water in my cup in a watercolor brush. And it's naturally a little bit darker on the edges. And it gets a little bit kind of fades there in the middle. All right, now we're gonna go on the face. What you're not gonna do you are not gonna do the whole thing with the gray and then come back. Where well, that might work, but the longer the markers there, the less effective it is, okay? So you kinda, I don't really know the proper term for it. I always call it marker juice. Um, you wanna get this markery juice stuff while it's wet, okay? I mean, while it, before it really dries into there. That's when it's gonna be most likely to, to blend well, okay? So I've just added that water and I'm letting it naturally kind of work off my brush. <clears throat> Chrissy said, can you use just watercolor? Absolutely, if you have got a gray, totally, you can do that. Um, I just wanted to show a fun way to do this and you don't really have to think about any um, blending technique with this because it naturally blends. But if you have gray watercolor, totally. Totally. And when I say blend, I mean it naturally like wears off. You see how it's darker here and then it gets lighter? That's because it's just wearing off my brush. You know what I mean? So I didn't have to really do anything <clears throat> other than paint it and then it's going to be darker here and lighter in the middle. But if you don't have a, a marker, totally you can use watercolor. I just don't have gray. The watercolor set that I'm going to be using today, I don't have any gray in it. So... Now you do, if you feel like it's not dark enough, it might be that you didn't put enough marker on there. Sometimes you really have got to load that marker, that, you know, load it up, put that pigment a lot on there for it to have enough to spread around. <clears throat> if you feel like it's not working quite right, ask yourself, are you sure that you're using watercolor paper? Okay, because if you're using Bristol paper or marker paper or copy paper, <clears throat> it might not, you might not have the spread quite like that. All right, so I'm going to put this on. Now I'm going to open up my watercolors. So I am using, like I said, these neon watercolors. I love these. You do not have to do this. will look good just with pastels from any watercolor set you have, but we do love these neon watercolors. A lot of people that are on here right now on the live I see are members of our lettering club, and we sent these to them last um, a couple of months ago, and they have loved them. So we have a few left over at the studio. If you want some, let me know, and I can drop that, that link in here after I... Um, after we get off. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just start with the pink, all right? So again, any pink will do. And you do wanna be careful that you do not, like if, if this ear is soaking wet and I touch the pink to it, it's going to bleed into it. So I'm gonna, I don't even care if there's a little bit of white around it. I'd rather there be a little bit of white than the pink bleed into the gray. Um, let's see, somebody just asked, Becky said, Could, would Tombow markers work? They sure would, yep. So you know how we use those Tombow markers <clears throat> to turn to watercolor? They would totally work the same way. The only reason I didn't say that is because most kids, young kids, are not gonna be using the Tombow markers, but I know you've got them in your stash, so they absolutely work the same way. Okay, gonna come in with some more of this. Okay, I'm just now seeing that this gray, I didn't realize that I didn't get my water right there. So it kind of left a weird little thing. So I'm gonna try to add some more water while I can so that it won't look plain white. Okay, I think that will, I think that will do it. All right, coming back in. Now you could do this bow a different color. I just happen to love pink. And so I wanted to do as much pink as I could, <laughs> okay? And I love this pink, this pink is just, Super fun. So now I'm gonna be careful. I don't want this to be too wet um, on my brush. 
because it's got to dry just a little bit before I come back in and do those polka dots. Because remember, when wet touches wet, it's going to all bleed in together. And sometimes we use that to our advantage. Sometimes we want it to do that, but I don't necessarily want it to do that with these polka dots. All right, so I'm just kind of rolling all around. All right, so I'm going to pause and not do the polka dots. I'm gonna to go to the background next. I'm gonna give this some time to dry. So in the background, you can do anything, y'all. And I really had a hard time deciding what I was gonna do. I was like, big polka dots, little polka dots, swirls, stripes, <laughs> like there's so many different things. But eventually I just settled on kind of this confetti look with all the colors because I did think it needed a lot of color because there's a lot of gray and a lot of white and so I was like I want a lot of color back there of something so I'm just going to take these colors and drop them all around I love neon watercolors oh god all right pretty 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 okay so I'll get some of that you can go back into a different another color I'm going to be wetting this orange kind of getting it loose so some of y'all that I see on here are also our regular after school students. Um, hopefully y'all saw, you also have extra online videos. If you don't know what I'm talking about, message me, okay? So we have provided some extra ones for y'all. They are on sale on our um, pizzazzonline.com, but y'all got a code to where, um, where y'all can just go ahead and get them since y'all are our regular after school kiddos. And we had to cancel class for the next few little weeks. We will get back at it though. It will, it will go by. So if you were just jumping on here by chance and you didn't hear me say, we will be going live every day at 3.30 for the rest of this week and next week. And if it goes good, we'll do it again uh, the following, the following, or as long as we, as long as we're all stuck at home, we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. I'm going to do some little bit of yellow. I didn't do yellow in the other one. I kind of want to here. Okay, so y'all see, it's just adding color. Adding color, having fun, whatever color are your favorites, you can add them back there. Um, throw in the purple. And that's really it as far as, and, oh, no, no, it's not. Oh, we gotta do the dots, I'm sorry. That's almost it, that's almost it <laughs> as far as the instructions go. Um, just have fun doing this. If your bow looks too wet to add polka dots, you can just come back and do it at a later date, okay? Like just a little bit later um, because you just don't want it to all bleed together. I mean, I'm going a little crazy with all these little dots right now. It's just fun and I want to see how the colors all look. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in to that polka dot, um, the polka dotty bow. So here we go in with that lime neon green and like if I ever feel like I've got too much on my brush, I'm just kind of hitting the lid. This, like, this is off camera, but let me just show you. I'm just kind of going like that. Do you see how it's just collecting right there? That's how if I feel like I've got too much water, I am just kind of getting it off. All right, so y'all, this is it. So it did not take us long. Let me see if I can see our time. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. I don't think I can see our time right now, um, but it didn't take us long, y'all, okay? So it does not have to take long to get creative with kiddos. We have got more lessons on the blog. We've also um, added in the link in this comment thread if you want to sign up for emails to get more uh, stuff, and then I'll also drop in the neons if you want us to stick those into the mail to you. Um, we can do that as well. We have been, we've been packaging them up with um, neons and about four pages of watercolor paper in one pack. So, um, so anyway, that is that. I cannot wait to see what y'all do. Y'all join us back again tomorrow at 3.30. All right, see ya, see ya.